She stars in the inspirational true story of Megan Levy. It's about a Marine corporal and her powerful, powerful bond, easy for me to say, with a combat dog named Rex. Together they saved countless lives until an IED explosion put their fate in jeopardy. Please welcome the great Kate Mara. Yes, the great Kate. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming in. I jumped on you right away. I'm like, love this movie, Fried, <laughs> House of Cards. Let's discuss everything. First of all, welcome and thank you for getting up early no, for us. Thanks for having me. Congratulations on this beautiful film. It's one thing to tackle an issue like this, but then also to have it be based on somebody real. And I love that her name is in the title. We all know who Megan Levy is after watching this. Mm -hmm. Why was this something in a story you wanted to help tell, a real life story? I mean, I was surprised that I hadn't um, heard of the story before reading the script. And then I thought, oh my gosh, how lucky that. Um, it hasn't been made into a movie yet. I've always wanted to play a Marine, and it's very, very rare that there is a script written about a female Marine. Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, the animal aspect and uh, it being about the canine unit is so rare. So to me, it was just an obvious thing to want to be a part of. It's a really interesting look, especially for dog people, to, to see what working dogs versus a pet would be like. And but. In, it wrecks in this film so much, but the, the bond is still there, right? It's not like um, it's it's not like a working relationship at work. It's a it's a bond. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't know anything about the canine unit in the Marine Corps, and and I I mean, I was so fascinated to learn about it and also to go through the training with the dog because um, it was both of our first time learning these things so we kind of got trained together which was That's very cool. very bonding yeah there's the physical aspect and then the mental that it addresses that when you come back from serving there's a whole bunch of PTSD issues and it's not exactly what people might think and I know it, you have been awarded and the film has been awarded with the got your six which mm. means you've done an incredible job at telling a real-life tale and what the effects are when you're serving and then post. How important was that to you to help get that right? I mean, that to us, to me and to Gabriella, our director, it was the most important thing about this story was we wanted people who have actually gone through this to feel like they have a voice. And when watching it, you know, they feel that it's truthful. Um, and yeah, I think that one of the most interesting, interesting things about the story and when watching the film is that not only the, the, the human beings, um, the actual Marines go through PTSD and things like that, but the animals do as well. Yeah. So I think that's something that most people don't really recognize or, or know much about. Um, so did you become attached to the dog you were working with throughout the film? Yeah, I mean, we had a very, um, it was a very, we had a working relationship. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't really meant to give him many cuddles and things like that while we were working because it's a, you know, we were being trained together and he was, a, you know, he's a Marine. So um, I had to sort of have those boundaries, but because of that, we formed a very, very quick bond. And so he sort of, he would give me the, the cuddles and the, and the kisses like when I wasn't expecting it because we just had this bond. And let's talk about your real life bond then with the real life Megan Levy. Mm -hmm. What sort of chats did you have? Was it beforehand? Was it during? And how did it feel to have her on set? Um, oh, there she is. Yeah. She is an amazing human being. I was very intimidated the first time I met her. Um, we met uh, before we actually started shooting. We met in New York and just sort of got together and, and, um, and chatted about everything. And, and she was so down to earth and warm and not guarded at all, which I think I sort of had a preconceived notion that she would be because she's this Well, she had a tough backstory. Yeah. Tough backstory. Yeah. It was tough for her to have emotional bonds with humans until she found an incredible one. Yeah, you'd never know dog. it now. Yeah. Really? So I have to tell you, uh, last night we're, I'm watching this movie with my fiance, and she just heavy cried. Like it was the, because <gasps> there's a couple of those moments in there where, you know, especially if, as a pet owner, you're like, oh, I get that. I can yeah. feel that. It makes you, I mean, for me, certainly whenever I was shooting the film and then after I watched it for the first time, it makes you go home and sort of hug your animals a little bit tighter because it just shows you how important they are and how, um, you know, life-changing they can be to our emotions. Um, and there's really nothing like it, the they relationship that you have. Beautiful job you Thank all you. do in this. Common, fantastic in it oh, also. And I need to ask, are you keeping up with House of Cards? You <laughs> made that first season. You drove it with Kevin Spacey. I won't give it away for catching up, but she doesn't make it after the second season. Won't say how or why. 
Was he going to give it away? Gave it away. Maybe she chose to leave and go somewhere else to come back in another season. Are you keeping up with all the cards in the house? That's a clip that they're showing. Amazing. Yeah. So subtle here. No teasers. I actually I need to catch up. I'm I'm a season behind, so I got to go home and binge watch. Did you know you were onto something huge? You know when you started filming the first series. I mean, you kind of have a feeling when you're next to Robin Wright and Kevin Spacey and David Fincher, but you never you never know. You never know. Well, we can't wait for your character to teleport back in. For the next season. I'm so excited. Thank you. Hey, thank You're you so much for coming. In thank everything you, guys. you do. Make sure you see it, everybody. It hits theaters next Friday. That's June 9th. Breakfasttelevision.ca. Megan Levy is the title. Thank you so much for thank being you. here with us. You are a pleasure. Thank you. We'll be back with more BT right after this.